Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, I would like to show you how to do the retopology and the UV unwrap of the uh, model what we have right now. So I've just kept solo button so that I could only see the model which is selected. And then I enable the polyframe of this and you should be able to see here, this is completely dynamized geometry. It's not at all having the topology. Uh, whereas uh, when I just select uh, the retopology model, it has got that neat flow, okay? And also it has been polygrouped. And let's say if I reduce the um, subdivisions here and then go to the UV map section and then apply morph UV, you should be able to see the UV unwrapping is also done within ZBrush. So without any further ado, let's get started into the video where I have done retopology and uh, I did the UV unwrapping using simple uh, clicks okay, or one or two clicks, I could manage to get the, those results. So it's a very quick and efficient way. Let's get started with it. This is a iguana model which I have sculpted using basic sculpting techniques and it is very roughly sculpted, no, um, I mean refined details on this because uh, before I just uh, wanted to go deep into this model, I wanted to retopologize it and I have no intentions to, you know, animate and all that. It's just uh, uh, when we are adding that high frequency details and all, the flow of the model uh, really uh, allows us to give you better results. For example, when I am trying to add certain details here and I am getting that sort of lumps because there are so many, you know, um, intersections or the, the the flow of this model is not at all satisfactory so this is where i feel if i have to go further and in terms of rendering and look dev uh, of this model in different applications uh, the retopology plays very important role so retopology can be done uh, one in very traditional way that you start building this flow step by step uh, by taking this into softwares like maya or blender or there's a much better or faster way to do uh, the retopology that is we generally uh, you know take help of this fantastic tool called z remeasure and then uh, we try to get the flow of this model real quick and there there could be some issues here and there and we will fix that uh, one or two issues either with the z modeler tool or we may use uh, uh, maya's uh, retopology tools there like quadra and then get the result so let me just have a look on the sub tool here so in the sub tool section uh, you have a copy of this model you should be able to see there's a copy here so i want to work on the copy of this model and then project the details from the high res to the low res so what I'm going to do here is uh, select this duplicated model and then use a tool called topology. So if I press B and then press T, then you get able to see the brushes which start with letter T will be shortlisted in which there's a tool called topology, the brush called topology. So I need to press O for that. So B, T, O is the shortcut. And uh, this tool is generally used to make uh, patches on existing model. So I need to draw these curves, which are like your traditional ZBrush curves. And when I draw these lines, uh, when they are intersected and form a closed shape which is probably the four-sided face gives you a quad there uh, a more complex way like if i could generally add more lines and then you get more number of uh, subdivisions there here so if i hold alt and drag on the model it will be cleaned up and when i click it it gives me the patch onto the model and this can be later you know split uh, and masked points that will be split and then you get the model and i'm deleting this okay so uh, so here i could able to create a mesh on top of it with the topology tool not only that I can draw the lines which will guide the flow of the model okay so when we are doing the z remeasure uh, if you just go here z remeasure there is an option called curve strength so the curve strength 50 is actually taking this curve as a guide for the flow to be controlled so you can hold alt and draw on that line and that will be removed and then what you need to do is just uh, keep drawing this flow you can continue this from there okay take a uh, time and uh, you need not be uh, neat in this uh, way i mean you can just a uh, little bit uh, rough here and there and just start drawing the guides here okay so you can keep drawing such guides like uh, in the eye area we can continue that line anytime if you if you feel that it's not uh, rotating so too many lines uh, is not recommended uh, because it may um, damage the mesh uh, if too many lines are drawn there. So I believe uh, most of the lines are uh, pretty good at this point. So these lines will uh, serve as the guide uh, for the remeasure to rebuild. So here when we are doing this, I make sure that the target polygon count is set to my desired polygon count. Like 5 gives me the 5000 polygon count approximately, not precisely. Or we can say half of the existing like right now I've got six lakh polygons then when i say half it may approximately give me a say three lakh polygon model double will double it and then same will give the same number of polygon points so five thousand let's have a look on the model so i just hit z remeasure and then click it here 
So you should be able to see I've got a very decent uh, polygon flow model here. I'm really happy about what I've got. Um, and if you feel the polygon counts are way too much, maybe you can just try with uh, maybe 3000 polygons and try and then see what works uh, good for you. 3000 is giving very weird result. It's, it's like a sort of error. Let me see with a 4000 polygon and then, okay, there's something wrong with this model. I don't know what's going on. So I could see some weird issue coming here. What I'll do is I'll just close this and reopen it and then try it with the same things. Sometimes ZBrush behaves this way. Let's see what's going on here. So I've closed the ZBrush and I've opened back and then I'll just go to the Z remeasure and then I would like to pick a value of 3.5 here and then do the Z remeasure. Then you should be able to see you got the result here. I, as I told you, uh, sometimes a ZBrush will behave uh, something like this, what we have got right now. So I just try to uh, close and open it and then it gave me uh, the model within the desired uh, polygon count there. So yeah, this looks good at this point and then I'm going to, you know, do the UV unwrapping of this model and the UV unwrapping of this model can be done real quick using tool itself. So you got a UV master here, okay, where you could generally do the UV unwrapping of this. But always it's good uh, to actually uh, do the polygroup or do the poly patching and then start doing the uh, polygroup there. So let's see uh, how I can manage to get the polygrouping here. So I'm going to select uh, the lasso tool and then So I could manage to get the polygroups of this model and then what I'm going to do is I just apply UV unwrap, make sure that symmetry is on and also polygroup is on and then just click this button which will unwrap this model. And to visualize the layout here, you can always just go to UV map and then click on morph UV option which is going to show you the uh, layout of what we have done here. So once that is done, I'm going to select this model and then um, apply divide uh, maybe at least three to four times and then what you generally see is uh, the model looks so soft the the sharp details are completely gone this is where you can generally use this uh, projector tool uh, where you are going to project the details of uh, the previous model which we have done so this model has got all that sharp details of eye and all that and these details has had to be transferred uh, to this particular model where you could able to see the eye and all those looks uh, without any details so put uh, these two models uh, visible and hide the rest of the models here select the target model or target model is nothing but uh, to the model where you want the details to be transferred and then source model is uh, from where you are getting the uh, details from so keep this source and target models on the target is below and the source is on the top then i'll just go to the project option uh, for the uh, sake of convenience i click solo button so that though it is visible but only my target model is visible source is hidden completely now a distance uh, option is something which you can play around um, the in general what happens is there is some distance from your uh, source model to the target model whatever the difference can be seen as this water level as you could see so there's that much gap between my two models so 
there is something called search distance so it will search that area only if uh, within the given values what we have given here i mean if it is too much distorted from the source then it may not search that mesh and a projection may not happen so mostly when we do this workflow i, I keep this uh, distance untouched and then just hit a uh, project so poly painting is not there but if it's there then you can use the color feature off or on color feature is on then the poly painting will also be transferred if not you can keep it off so only the projection should happen with the uh, the geometry so i choose that and then click project button so it takes some time and then if you could see the model which is on the bottom here okay has got all the details transferred and if i generally bring up the uh, polygon um, loops or poly groups on top you should be able to see the details are transferred to the retopologized model okay and uh, this is as i told uh, my model um, is retopologized only for better sculpting not for any rigging animation workflow when you're doing the rigging animation workflow then the topology is much more refined uh, or manually controlled you know, at each and every area if not this is manageable for rendering okay so from here you could add more details onto the model before i just add more details i just uh, give a break and then start doing some details i'll do some details on top of it i mean i just wanted to clean up certain areas so that i can put my high frequency details on top of it okay guys i hope you like this video uh, in which i could manage to share the topology and uv unwrapping techniques uh, uh, which can be done in the fastest way as possible and uh, if you got any questions related to this please let me know in the comment section and if you like the video hit like button and subscribe my channel and share this work with your friends thank you very much